Welcome to Electron Online. Here this equation represents a saddle, z equals y squared minus x squared, which means that in the y direction the function goes up, in the x direction the function goes down, so it's basically a saddle, the person can actually sits there, sit there and straddle across that point. What we're going to do now is use the partial derivatives to find the critical point, and it's going to be this point right there, and we're going to, going to show you how to realize that that point is indeed the point of a saddle which means in this direction it should be a minimum and in this direction it should be a maximum. So as y changes when x is kept constant we should find the minimum, as x changes when y is kept constant we should find a maximum. Let's take the partial derivative of this function with respect to x and with respect to y. The partial derivative of z with respect to x is going to be equal to minus 2x and the partial derivative of z with respect to y is going to be a positive 2y. Now to find the maximum endpoints we're going to set those equal to 0. We're going to set the partial of z with respect to x equal to 0 which means 0 equals minus 2x which implies that x is equal to 0. Here we're going to do the same. We're going to set the partial of z with respect to y equal to 0, again to find that critical point, and then we can say that 0 equals 2y, which implies, just like over here, that y is equal to 0, which means that when x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0, we find a critical point, which is right here at the origin. And then we also know that z must equal 0 when we plug in x equals 0 and y equals 0 in the original function. Of course, we find that z equals 0 as well. Again, that's why it's the origin. Now, let's go ahead and plug in values into derivative on both sides of the x equals 0 and y equals 0 points. So first, let's do x equals 0. And let's go to the left and to the right. So it means we're going to plug in x equals negative 1 and x equals positive 1 into our derivative and then evaluate the derivative and see what we get. So we're going to plug in the partial of z with respect to x when x is equal to negative 1 and see what we get. So this is equal to negative 2 times the negative 1 which is a positive 2 which means it's a positive value. That means a positive slope. And when we do the same, partial z with respect to x, but in this case we're going to let x equals a positive 1. That is equal to minus 2 times 1, which is negative 2. That means the slope is a negative value, a negative slope. Now let's see if that makes sense. When x is a negative number, that means on this side of the point, we're on this, this slope right here, we have a positive slope. The slope goes up, and then when we're on this side, when x equals a positive 1, then we have a negative slope. So here we can see a positive slope, and here we can see a negative slope, which means that yes, it's increasing, the slope is positive here, the slope is negative there, we do get that form of the saddle. Now let's do the same for the y derivative, the derivative, I should say, the derivative with respect to y. So the partial of z with respect to y, when in this case, we're going to let, hmm, I need to plug it somewhere else, let's do it over here. So when, when y is equal to zero, when y is equal to 0, we're going to try y equals 1 and y equals negative 1. So starting from the origin, we're going to go 1 in that direction and 1 in the other direction, see what happens. So the partial of z when y is equal to 1 is equal to, so we come over here, this is the partial derivative of z with respect to y, we're going to plug in a 1 for y, so we get 2 times 1, which is 2, that is a positive slope. And again, the partial of z with respect to y, in this case we're going to let y equals a negative 1 on the other side of the origin, which is 2 times a negative 1, which is negative 2, that gives us a negative slope. So negative slope, positive slope right there. And let's see if that makes sense. When y is equal to 1, then we're on this side, we have a positive slope. That means the slope is going up, which makes, makes sense. This is called a positive slope. And then we're on the negative side, when y is equal to negative 1, we end up with a negative slope, the slope is negative right here, negative slope. 
So you can see that if when y changes and x stays constant, we have a negative slope here, we have a positive slope there. And when y stays constant but x changes, we have a negative slope here and we have a positive slope. Positive slope, negative slope, and that indeed does look like a saddle. That means this equation is a saddle. We found the one critical point at x equals 0, y equals 0, and then we did our test on both sides of the x equals 0 point, on both sides of the y equals 0 point, and we indeed found that the slopes indicate we are dealing with a saddle here. And that's how it's done.